Hey guys, welcome back. So, today is Pink Wednesday and as you guys know, I said I was going to start filming on Wednesdays if I could remember and if I had time and I do and I am sorry that it is sometimes dark and sometimes light. Uh, the window is behind me so it's just natural lighting and that's how it works with the sun. Um, so today's video I wanted to film for you guys my pink mug collection uh, that's what I got the most uh, votes on in my last video and I said what do you guys want to see next and a few people commented and said that pink mug collection sounded interesting so that one was pretty easy for me to film since most of my pink mugs are here in my beauty room uh, I have so many mugs and my husband is like, stop buying them. So I started hiding them in my room uh, so that he doesn't know that I keep buying them. Uh, and I just have like mostly Ray Dunn downstairs and I have some random um, like mommy and daddy, those kind of mugs downstairs and yeah, mostly Ray Dunn. But yeah, all of my pink mugs are mostly up here so... That's what I'm going to film for you guys today and I am filming holding this little thing so this is going to be a one handed uh, filming kind of thing so I hope I don't break any of my mugs or drop anything but we're going to get started. I am going to first start with the mug that I'm drinking out of right now. I made some coffee before the video. And this is my Good Vibes Only mug, and I got this from Hobby Lobby for $10. And I'm going to take a sip. Mm -hmm. So that is very hot. I'm going to actually move it over here. Uh, yeah, I need my coaster. Hold, please. I have this. Starbucks cup on my coaster. Um, so yeah. I don't want it to be too, too hot. I want to drink it. So I'm just going to move it over here. Closer to where I'm filming. So yeah, that's the first mug. That is my Good Vibes Only mug. And I really like it. Uh, obviously, Good Vibes Only. And then, you know what? Let's just get these out of the way over here. This is my little coffee area in the beauty room. I have this breakfast at Tiffany's uh, mug. And on the back it says, always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. And I don't drink from this. I used to have lippies in here. But I love Audrey Hepburn, obviously. Um, so that I just keep there. And then I do have this little rack that my husband made me a long, long, long time ago when I first started in this room because I had mugs everywhere. But those aren't pink, so we won't talk about those. We'll talk about these two. Unicorn Coffee, and this one says, do not touch my coffee. Um, these I got from a shop called Twinkle Twinkle. Uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little... I can't see. Twinkle Twinkle Little Jar is the name on the back of these. It's not focusing. Um, yeah, I've had those for a really long time too. And then I have this XOXO mug that I got from Home Goods. This one is like a really pretty pink with gold and it has a heart inside and it says eat cake, drink coffee. Yes. Um... And then my newest mug that I actually just recently got, shh, don't tell my husband, um, is this one. It's like my perfect Halloween spooky season because it's pink and black and I love it. I found this on Etsy and after I ordered it, I checked to see if they had an Instagram page and they do. It's called Lisbon Blue on Instagram, but yeah, this is so pretty. I love it. Um, and then I have this little rose gold mug holder that I got from Amazon. I obviously have my Ray Dunn blue and spooky because spooky season. Um, but I have this pretty mug here. 
um, that I got from Vintage Chic Diva on Instagram. And I don't want to really move this because it's very flimsy. I have this mug that says, this is my happy hour. And I believe that's from Target, maybe. And then I have um, another Audrey Hepburn. This says, my fair lady. And it's pink. And it says, my fair lady here. I do know where I got this one from. I've had it for a very long time, but I got this from, I don't know if you guys remember Suncoast video. They used to be like in the mall and it was like a video store and they had a lot of collector stuff. So that's where I got that one from. And then I have this mug here that says happily ever after. And this was actually a gift, so I'm not sure where it's from. The bottom says 10 Strawberry Street Bridal Collection. So I just think it's so cute. Happily Ever After. And I am going to put that back in here. And then I also just got these recently from Home Goods. I haven't even put them away yet. They say Rise and Shine, and it was four mugs for $9.99, and they are the prettiest pink with gold. I did want to spray paint this holder gold, but I'm not sure yet because I realize I do have some black stuff, so maybe the black, like the eyelashes, might like make it look better, so I don't know. Maybe I won't go through all the trouble trying to spray paint that. But yeah, I really like that you get four for $10. So yeah, so that is the mugs that are there. Now we're going to go to my mug drawer. Which is over here on my Ikea packs. Um, I know I still haven't got the tour up for you guys. But I do have a drawer here with most of my mugs in there. And I say most because I do have some like holiday, like I have, um, I know I have a Christmas mug. It's a pink gingerbread from Target last year. It's like brown and pink and that's in my holiday cabinet. I have a cabinet in the basement that has like all of Halloween, all of Thanksgiving and all of Christmas. Oh, and all of Valentine's Day mugs are down there. So, um, I did not go down there. Um, mm to get more mugs for this video i'm just showing you guys what i have in my room so let's get started um the first mug here says girl boss and this is one of the ray dunn mugs it's the like matte light pink i know on camera things probably don't look pink but it is pink um so that was from home goods and then, I don't know, should I go this way or that way? I'm trying to see which would not confuse me which ones I did. Let's do this one. And P.S. Some of these are very, very dusty because I had them hanging over there at one point And I just moved them to this drawer without cleaning them. So, ignore dust. If you see dust, I always wash my mugs. When I pull one out of the drawer, I go down and I wash them. And I get creamer because I keep my creamer downstairs. So, yeah. So, don't think I drink dirty cups. This one says, Adventure Awaits. And it has the little arrows on the inside, too. And this was from Home Goods for $4.99. Then I got this Good Morning Sunshine mug, which is pink and gold. This was from Target. I think it was like $5.99 or something like that. This is by the brand Opal House. And then I got... I don't know if this drawer comes out. Maybe just a tad more. Um, then I got this other Ray Dunn pink matte mug. This one says Beauty. The other one said Girl Boss. This one was like Beauty and the Beast. And I think the the Beast one is black matte. And I have that one downstairs in my kitchen. Um, obviously, I'm Beauty and my husband is Beast. So, the other one's downstairs. 
But yeah, this is Ray Dunn Beauty Mug. Also, just so you guys know, the way I have my drawer set up, I have most of my mugs in front and then I keep coasters towards the back. So I have um, probably five or six more coasters. And then in the far, far back, I keep backup candles because above is my candle drawer. But these are like more summery and we're into like fall right now. So I moved my fall ones up and my drawer is so full because I have so many fall candles that I was running out of room. So I stuck like some of the sweeter scents back there because I can't get mugs all the way back there anyway. So it works. Okay, moving back to the front. I have this mug. This is Mommy Established 2019, which is obviously one of my favorite mugs. It's like a pink marble and I love that it has the like gold on it. Um, just so you guys know also, most of the mugs that have gold are non-microwavable. So that kind of sucks because I drink my coffee really, really slow. But I do try to put it on the coffee warmer. Uh, but I only have one coffee warmer in the house and that's in my room. So when I'm like drinking coffee around the house, I have to microwave my coffee like a hundred times a day. My husband's like, can you just finish your coffee? But I really can't. I drink coffee really slow. But yeah. I got this one from Amazon and this also came with the Daddy Established 2019 mug and the Daddy one is gray marble and that is also down in my kitchen. Next I got this CC uh, Chanel inspired dripping mug. This is like pink uh, glitter kind of. It's not real glitter, but it looks like it's glitter. And this I got from Vintage Vintage Cheek Diva on Instagram as well. With the other mug that was back there is also from her shop. Oh, this is a newer find. I got this one, which I fell in love with because it says less Monday, more coffee. Which the Monday suck. And I love that it has like these two colors together. It reminds me of like Tiffany's and pink, which are my two favorites. And then the little heart on the inside with the burst. And that's not dirty. It's like a speckled on the inside. At first I thought it was dirty too. Um, and then um, this was from Home Goods for only $3.99. That was a steal. So yes, love this mug. And then the handle is pink too cute right so this is like my monday morning mugs now okay moving somewhere um this is a little unicorn uh glam girl mug that i got from i think this is from glitter madness on instagram she used to make these i don't know if she still makes these but um, I've had it for a long time. And then I'm just gonna go back to the back. I have this Wild Thing mug, uh, which is like pretty pink cheetah print. And then it says Wild Thing in gold, and it has a gold uh, handle. This I got from With Love Shop on Instagram. So yeah, I love that one. I love leopard print anything um so this one really isn't pink so I won't talk about it but I will talk about it it says real life princess that's me my husband says no you're queen but I'm like no I'm a queen princess so that's my name uh then I have this pretty pink Minnie Mouse mug and I love this uh hard right here it actually feels like kind of rough it feels like textured textured like little sugar granules or something uh but yeah it's so cute it says all of like little mini quotes on here i could just hear her little voice and this is actually um, a Disney Parks mug, but I got this on Macari or Poshmark. I'm not sure which one, but I was actually looking for some Ray Dunn mugs. And I typed in like pink Ray Dunn and this popped up. 
And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I bought it. And then, I love this mug. This is a cute little eyelash mug. And it says, I woke up like this. And this one actually came with a poof. And like the Eiffel Tower little keychain. And I think it's just so adorable. This was from Hobby Lobby. And this one was actually $17.99, but I used a 40% coupon. Um, so it came out to like $10 or $11. And it's really, really nice. Um, the bottom gets a little bit wider than the top. It's really heavy. And this is actually almost 20 ounces. It's 19.65. So it holds a lot of coffee. So it's worth the... $17 but not $17 if you use a 40% and guys I'm gonna pause for a second because I realized I wanted to do something at the beginning of the video and I didn't I wanted to use my Rome spray because I never use these uh, this is Bath and Body Works champagne apple and honey and I wanted to kind of set the mood in here while I was filming so that it can smell all good because I forgot to light a candle. I'm really, really bad at this, guys. But, yeah. So, mm, that smells good. Okay. We can resume now. So, we did it. We did Okay, we're here. Oh, this isn't pink either. We're going to talk about it, okay? Because this is one of my favorite mugs. I have two of these. This is a leopard mug from Starbucks. And it's gold leopard. 16 ounces and I bought two of these when they came out because I liked it that much and I keep one downstairs and I keep one upstairs and I absolutely love it so I just hate that they haven't figured out how to make like some of the gold foil stuff like actually not foil just like a color or something so I can microwave my mugs because I hate anything that has gold can't be microwaved okay next I have this Louis Vuitton inspired beautiful pink mug. Very tall. It's a 15 ounce mug. Um, I, I know you guys are probably like, why does she keep telling us the ounces? Because I don't like small mugs. I drink a lot of coffee. I drink big cups of coffee. Maybe that's why it takes me forever to drink my coffee because I don't drink little cups. But yeah, I got this from Classy Pink Boutique on Instagram. And I'm going to try to link below whatever I can. And whatever codes I have for you guys. I don't have a lot of codes, obviously, not to Hobby Lobby or Target uh, or Home Goods, but um, Classy Pink Boutique. I do have a code. It's just my name, Evita. And I think it's 10% off. And I love this. And I also got from her shop this Victory Secret mug, which is just um, pink and white stripe. And then it says BS. Victoria's Secret in black and she also has um like a hot pink and a blush pink instead of the pink and white it's pink on pink and this is also in 15 ounces and if you guys aren't like me and don't want big mugs she she offers them in different sizes so she has like the 10 or 11 ounce also and then next I have this pretty white and pink starbucks mug this is um i think this is called an alley mug abby i'm sorry i said alley abby mug um the bottom says 2006 starbucks coffee company made in china and it is microwave safe Woohoo! so yeah i think this is the prettiest pink and white and it's beautiful love this one i'm actually really scared when i use this one because i can't find it anywhere anymore except like probably mercari ebay or something and i'm sure it's expensive so i get nervous using this one because i don't want to break it this one is 18 ounces and since you guys can kind of see these i have this tiffany and co there's an lv and there's another tiffany and co and then on my vanity, my coffee is sitting on my Chanel. 
and I have one over by my coffee area another LV I got those um, custom made from D designs 1106 on Instagram I'll try and link those below too if I don't forget oh and she also before I got those I got that like glitter um, epoxy resin I guess is what they're called and that one is so beautiful so I kind of switch out what coasters are in my vanity. Then I have this Minnie Mouse one that I got from Sweet Diamond Co. on Instagram. So I'm going to put the Starbucks one back. I already talked about the VS one. Oh, I skipped this one. This Okay, so this is like one of the plainest mugs I probably have in my collection. And it's literally probably my favorite one. So this is just a pink heart mug. Um, it's by the brand IQ Accessories. And yes, I know that by heart because I've searched for this everywhere because I want another one. This is dishwasher and micro microwave safe. Um, not sure how many ounces it doesn't say, but it's big. Um, I don't know what it is. The handle is very comfortable. The like shapeness of this is very comfortable like to drink from uh i don't know i just love this mug it's one of my most used if you guys go back on my instagram this is the cup that was always in my pictures and then i realized i need to like retire this for a little bit and use some of my other mugs but i got this from target dollar spot around valentine's day a couple of years ago i think they had red as well and maybe white i kicking myself in the butt for not buying two at least two or not at four maybe but um you know how the tar target dollar spot is it's called a dollar spot or i think it's called bullseye playground now but it wasn't a dollar it was like three dollars which is amazing for a mug we're gonna take another break because i need to take a sip because i'm kind of choking I got too excited talking about my favorite mug. Okay, so let's go here. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. I have this Evita mug, and you guys can see how big this is. I can barely hold it. Um, it's a biggie, uh, and it's a cute little baby unicorn with pink glitter hair. And this is actually a threshold mug, which is like Target fancy porcelain dishwasher and microwave safe but yeah um this was custom made by honey made on instagram and then i have my super bougie spoons here that i'm sure you guys know who brooklyn 22 is on instagram she inspired me to get these she inspires me to get so much stuff um this whole drawer is inspired by her because she has a coffee drawer in her beauty room coffee mug drawer and when i was like wow i need somewhere to hide my mugs so here's the thing i already was hiding them in here they were just like all over my room and i was like why did i never think to have a drawer so yeah so as soon as i got my packs i already knew one of these drawers was going to be for my mugs so yeah, so I found these um, on walmart.com because I think she got hers at Home Goods, and I went to several, couldn't find them, and a few people know that I was looking for them and they couldn't find them for me either. So she said she found them on Amazon and she linked them and they were like $40 and I was like, jeez, $40 for some spoons? I just want one. But then I um, took the name and I searched and I found them on Walmart for 30 bucks, which was $10 cheaper. Plus, it had free shipping. Plus, I had reward card with Walmart. So, that was a little bit better for me. So, I got them off of Walmart. Uh, the brand is called World Gifts. So, if you just search World Gifts um, Gold Spoon with Crystal Tip, they'll come up. So, I'm going to set those here so I can show you the last mug. Which is this one it says coffee in one hand confidence in the other and it's just this marble 
mug with gold lettering and the inside is pink and has a pink handle which marble pink and gold together that's such a cute vibe so yeah this one is from hobby lobby and i'm not sure how much it was i want to say 9.99 so i actually ordered this one the eyelash one and the good vibes only online a while ago um and i got my husband a jeep mug because he has a jeep and they had a jeep um stainless steel tumbler that's the reason why i was on hobby lobby because i was looking for jeep stuff and when i typed in that hobby lobby came up and i was like well since i'm getting him something i'm gonna look at the mugs and i literally sorted the mugs by pink and i added everything that was pink to the cart so so yeah i'm gonna move these back to the front and yeah guys that is my pink mug collection um most of it i mean the ones that are here in my room and i do have a little bit of time left before the video cuts off so i will just show you guys that i have besides pink mugs i have some pink tumblers in here um i have a tumbler shelf there and there um because like i said i buy so much stuff and my husband's gonna kill me already um i also have some collector starbucks cups that i don't use i only collect up there and then i have more um starbucks fancy tumblers like up there and there and i ran out of room so i had to scooch my canisters over and scooch that one in there because i didn't have anywhere else to put it i wish starbucks would stop making cute ones for a little bit until i can figure out what i'm gonna do so yeah so that is my and then i even have another starbucks tumbler here on my thing oh also if you guys follow me on instagram and my business account business shop i just launched this new christmas tumbler it is snowflakes and chanel i call it and it has like the clear glass rhinestones in the middle of the snowflakes and it has a pearl rim and this is a project i'm working on Ta-da! i am trying i got tired i didn't finish i didn't do the rim i just did the top um blinging out the lid i wanted to see if i can do it before i post that i'm gonna sell the cup like this um, but for now, I posted it with a pearl lid um, for, I think, $25. But I think if I do it with a bling lid, I'm going to list it probably for $35. Because this takes a lot of time, guys. A lot of time. And a lot of pearls. Um, um, not pearls. A lot of rhinestones. So, yeah, I still have to do the rim. But I am loving the way it came out so far. Like, I can't even believe that I did that. Because... I have bought so many from other shops and I'm like I can never do that like I have this this one I have this pretty pink one and then I have I think a hot pink one this hot pink one and oh and I have another pretty pink one and I was like I could never ever do that i'm like these girls have so much talent and time but yesterday i had some time and i was like i'm gonna try and do um because this is the color that i had ordered to start with because i was like i'm not gonna spend a lot of money and order a bunch of colors if i can't even do it so i ordered clear because clear kind of goes with everything and i love the way it's looking so far i just have to do the rim but yeah you guys let me know what you guys think what do you guys think the cup's going to look cute like that with the rhinestones? I just think it's so pretty. Snowflakes. Like, this is like total Christmas vibes to me right there. So, um, also, can we get a round of applause for my semi-clean room? It's like, ooh, ooh. oh my gosh. I started the video without even telling you guys important stuff. But you know what? That's good because if you made it this far then you deserve this i got a giveaway guys i have a freaking giveaway for you guys finally i had it all laid out and everything so uh i am giving away the new color pop 
stone cold fox eyeshadow palette you guys know they sent this to me in pr i have so many eyeshadow palettes i really don't need it and i'd rather give it to one of you guys that's actually going to use it and i'm also giving away the almost entire um taupe collection which i haven't even posted on instagram yet but i will um i already pre-took a picture but it's the taupe eyeshadow palette two glossy lips two super shock cheek highlighters and then two of the lippy pencils the only thing i'm keeping from the whole from that collection is this um rose body oil because obviously it's called rose um and i'm also keeping um the eyeshadows because one came actually broken and i don't want to give you guys a broken one so and it was a two pack so one was broken so i'm just gonna keep the two eyeshadows but yeah this is a giveaway for you guys all you have to do to enter is leave a comment below saying that you're entering the giveaway must be following me on instagram on both of my instagrams my business which i'll have linked which is fancy crafts and co and my personal and also be subscribed to my channel and that's it just say i'm entering and i will end this giveaway today is the 28th i think we'll let it go until next pink wednesday next pink wednesday when i post my next video i will announce a winner um so yeah that's it i promised you guys i was going to do a giveaway and bear with me because uh, I still have so much more I want to give you guys. I just, uh, you guys want to see? This box right here is all giveaway stuff. Um, I should show you guys this side because I show you guys the clean side. So this is my working side. Um, I tried to do a cute little basket with some of my slippers and blankets in there because I bought that at Home Goods and I didn't even know what I was buying it for. I just saw a pink basket. So I just kind of thought it would be cute um, to like display some of my house shoes, my slippers, because I have so many and some blankets, like throws. So that's that's good there. Uh, that little thing, I don't know what's going on there. Um, that's so when I pack some orders, I have some of those packing peanuts and some um, confetti stuff. So it's just like kind of hanging out. Which I need to put it somewhere because every time Aria comes in here, she crushes them and I have to clean my floor. And then I got an Ulta order in, which is probably going to be next week's video. If I can't think of something, I'm probably going to just do like an unboxing. Um, I still have some skincare that I think I'm going to give away because I told you guys in my last video, somebody sent me something. I don't know who it's from or who they are. Um, I have some more ColourPop I need to post. And I have another makeup organizer down there that Sorbless sent me that I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to do with. And then this is just giveaway. So if this wasn't here and those peanuts wasn't there, it would be clean. It would. Um, so yeah. So And then over here, I have more Jeffree Star stuff. And guess what? It's mostly all giveaway stuff because I had almost everything in my mystery boxes except the mystery items and... The glosses, the three glosses, which I'm keeping. I did have them, but I wanted them because I love their glosses. So, yeah. So, those mystery boxes are pretty much going to be a giveaway. But other than that, guys, my room is finally clean everywhere. Um, You guys know that's my working station over here. So, I threw the giveaway stuff up here. Um, And I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to put this I Love Makeup organizer it just has a bunch of like my glow oil things in there um but this is spray cleaner to clear clean my dust uh to keep it clean when i'm working and i spray my flower bags with that spray so that's why that's there um and i keep my hand sanitizer from when i'm working so uh, my workstation is pretty clear i just have to get that giveaway out find somewhere to put that and yeah this giveaway box it's pretty big guys there's a lot of stuff in there it's completely filled and then with the jeffree star stuff it's heavy so i just kind of scooched it over there 
um, but yeah I'm going to end this video and you guys let me know if you guys have any more video ideas but I think I kind of just want to film like an unboxing or something like a haul I had so many Victoria's Secret purchases that I actually did on Instagram um, in my stories because they were just piling up but I don't know if I have more orders coming in I'm trying to take it easy because the holidays are coming up I have been getting stuff in but it's mostly for Aria I've been buying her toys and clothes for Christmas um but yeah I need to uh slow it down so I don't know how much more is coming in um I need to look and see what else I ordered and I say that knowing that I placed an order today for something what was it I know I placed an order for something oh <laughs> Hopefully that comes in by next week because that'll be a good one to show you guys. I'll, I'll wait until next week to say what that is. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I say this every video. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to stop rambling. And then I say something else. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. Look at the links below. I'm going to try to link all of the shops and all of the mugs and anything else I can remember to link. But if you guys have any questions... Just know that I try to reply to almost all my comments and on Instagram I read a lot of my messages. So I love you guys and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.